I really, what I really loved about it is at the end of the show, this lady came up to me and she said, I've seen you so many times with the Pell Rays, but this show is for the ladies. <laughs> and when we did this, yeah. when we were doing this band, I said, I want something that women, that I'm going to really just be like, I can't help but move and I have to, I want to be there. So it was awesome to hear her come up and say that. It means that we are playing what I want to play. When I see you, I know I must be dreaming, cause I Are the sensations on stage with this band very different than with... Yeah, it's, it's, it's really playful. Everybody is... There's a lot more people to get involved on stage. Uh, or it's easier to convince people that you can go there. In the Bell Rays, you know, there's a lot of people that just want that heavy... You know, it's got to be heavy, it's got to be punk, it's got to be it's evil. It's a male-female thing like we were just talking about. Yeah, it's yeah, for the yeah. ladies, and then it's like... If you just make the music for the ladies, nobody's asking any questions. There's women there. Ow! Dancing. Let's do this! <laughs> When I was a kid, I actually thought, well, what's really the difference between Parliament Funkadelic and Kiss? They look the same. Yeah, I mean, I go to the I go to the record store and I see the records. I'm like, well, that guy's just black and that guy's just white. But these guys are way more funky. That was it. Yeah. But it was like the the whole show ethic and all of the stuff, the all of that stuff was like the same. And it was rock. Somebody just put a color on it. That's all. About your voice, at what precise moment you became aware of the power of your voice? <laughs> Actually, it was in it was summer camp when I was six years old, and we had a talent show, and I didn't even know what a talent show was. They said if you can do something, you're just supposed to get out around the campfire. And do it. I remember they said, "Oh, that that sounds all right." Well, I had this I had this one song in my head, um, Oscar Brown Jr. Signifying Monkey, jazz tune. Said the signifying monkey to the lion one day, "Hey, there's a great big elephant down the way." And really awesome. I love it still. But um, it was one of those things where I said, "Okay, that sounds cool. I'll do that." And I remember getting to the campfire and being like. Where all these people come from? <laughs> and I stood up there and I remember thinking the whole time I was singing, can they see my legs shaking? Because they're just like, I, this leg here was just like doing like this the whole time. And then at the end when they applauded, I was like, oh, I guess I was all right. <laughs> this album you might say sounds like a perfect TV wonder song like a, a kind of superstition of our times no for me when I when we first started doing this thing it was more about you know the um, the thing that Max is playing the drums yeah, yeah. that kind of you know that kind of groove is, is what we're looking at you know for in that in that song but the thing is then you know the clabby part sounds also really 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 like Stevie Wonder kind of thing, so we love Stevie Wonder. Yeah, so we do. That's we a do. compliment. If it's a good song, it'll bleed any color you need it to bleed. Right. 
and I love that. I, yeah, we love, we love to like flip some kind of you know like songs like doing like medleys or the kind of covers that we do. We try to give something else. And one of the things that I, when I try to explain to young people that ask me about music and anybody starting out, and I, I, I tell them, I, it sounds so stupid, but it's like, you do have to listen to your heart. You have to really figure out what it is you want to communicate, what it is that you want to do, and you have to find out what that is honestly, which means no matter how much you might be a Prince fan, no matter how much you might be a Guns N' Roses fan, no matter how much you love whoever it is that you love, that is not you. That will never be you. It might be something close to that, but you are going to be a product of everything that you love if you listen to it. You can also get up there and be a tool. The industry's full of it. You know, music today is full of that, but you can also choose to really follow what it is that you do. We wanted this band to be born and not just say, we're going to do a soul band, or we're going to do a funk band, or we're going to do this. Way. We yeah. did it the hardest way. way. A 